Now an update on a developing story that we brought you just yesterday. An 18 year old man is in the Tulsa County Jail tonight after a Bixby High School soccer player died in a car wreck. Tulsa police announced his arrest just this morning. As 2 News Oklahoma's Samson Tamajani explains, the pain for those who knew 15 year old Kinsey Wright is still sinking in. This is actually one of the soccer fields where uh, we did a lot of private training with her. Coach Dan Roberts personally looked after Kinsey Wright's development as a star goalkeeper at Blitz Academy FC for six years, going so far as to say she had Division I college potential. More importantly, during that time, he says, he saw her grow as a person. She's a beautiful kid from a, from a beautiful family. Um, her parents are incredible, um, very supportive, uh, very committed to her family. Uh, committed to her sport, committed to her teammates. Kinsey's life was cut short Tuesday evening at the corner of 121st and Yale Avenue when Tulsa police say a Toyota Camry driven by Jacob Tucker rolled through a stop sign, striking the Honda CRV Kinsey and two club soccer teammates were in, driven by their mom. One other teen has since been released from the hospital per Bixby Public Schools. The adult and another teen are reportedly okay. After police previously told us it was a two-car crash, TPD now says it was three. There were no other injuries. Unfortunately, the car that was passing got rotated into oncoming traffic and, and hit by a, a pickup truck. Uh, tragically, that led to the death of the rear seat passenger, Kenzie Wright. Sergeant Will Dalsing says the 18-year-old Tucker was arrested Thursday for negligent homicide. Neighbors living around the intersection behind me say there are parts of the day when traffic gets more backed up. Sergeant Dalsing himself admits that because of more people moving to the area, having just the one stop sign here is not enough to keep drivers safe. I know the city's been looking at it and uh, considering uh, sight lines and maybe another way to control traffic in that area. I haven't heard of a decision yet, but I would support um, something a little more, maybe lights, uh, maybe stop signs all the way, something to take care of that problem and slow it down. Robert says no matter what actions are taken, it doesn't take away the pain that no coach or parent should have to bear. There's just going to be a hole missing and you just have to explain to the kids that that how short life it really is and to be in the moment. In Tulsa, Samson Tamajani, 2 News, Oklahoma. If and when charges are filed against Tucker, they could be upgraded depending on the Tulsa County District Attorney's Office. The rights are accepting donations through GoFundMe. If you'd like to give, we do have a link for you on our website, kgrh.com.